Hey there, Glenn with the Toy Temple, and we've got a bunch, a bunch of Marvel uh, whatnot and what have you to review today. So we've got, uh, let's start out with Black Widow here. We got Vintage Wave Black Widow. I know I've trashed her in the top 10 peg warmers review, but you know, for $5, that's a pretty great figure. And uh, we're just going to rip it open. I mean, the packaging looks great, but we're just going to rip it open. Uh, Five Below gave us this cool Star-Lord. I've got a Star-Lord, but I don't have that Mantis Build-A-Figure piece right there, and I need that. Plus, he's got some extra guns, a different coat. We'll, we'll look more at that. And then we've got Deathlock up here. You can see it says Deathlock, so, uh, yeah. That's from GameStop. You can't see it. I only have so big of a, of a box to review things in. And then we've got Iron Spider Dorbs, the Walgreens exclusive Dorbs. So let's open some of these things up, take a look. So as much as I like the packaging on this, it's not a $20 figure. It's a basic body we've seen before, a little bit of new deco around the wrists and the belt, and then you've basically got a, it, you know, it's the, it's the female body that we've seen a million times. Kitty Pride, Phoenix, they all have it. The head is reused, Mary Jane repainted from the Spider-Man 2 pack. The guns are these little dinky thin guns. It's not great, not worth $20, but it is worth five clearance dollars. On the back, you see a surprisingly good list of uh, A-list superheroes. You got Wolverine, Spider-Man, Iron Man. I bought Iron Man and Spider-Man, and I love that Spider-Man a bunch. It's one of the best figures they've ever done. So good, they keep reusing his body uh, for people like Black Ant and so many others. But anyway, about Black Widow. And here's Black Widow out of the packaging, and she looks fine. I mean, it's a very, very basic black painted figure. Sure, they added these little wrist guys, but, I mean, come on. It's a strictly painted black figure. I mean, what do you want, what do you want me to say? I like the head. The guns are dinky. It's, it's fine. For $5, it's fine. But what I wanted to do is, uh, uh, a head swap because as you can see this Phoenix is not great so not great she has a hard time standing up stand 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 it's the same body straight up just repainted okay so we're just gonna do a head swap because the head on that is garbage but if you do it like this Goodness, that's a big, big improvement. We do have a normal looking Phoenix now. It could even pass as Rachel Summers if you really wanted to try something, but this is a great Phoenix figure finally, but it's all thanks to that $5 Walgreens head. And uh, yeah, look, we did something productive today. Next up, we've got the Deadpool Wave Deathlock and I'm pretty excited to get this. We got it on half off clearance, so about $2 cheaper than Amazon, but you know, I, I like supporting what, you know, stores and actually going in and getting it in your hands and feeling, feeling like I did something with my day by buying something. Checking it out, looks pretty good from the front. Uh, let's, let's crack it open. Pretty awesome looking. I really like it. I do like that he's got a little spot for the gun because I'm not going to make him hold that gun. And Deathlock, I seem to recall, he was one of the last figures I bought as a kid when it came to uh, the Marvel figures. You know, the Toy Biz 1994 carded. Pretty much they look like the Vintage Wave. I bought him, and I was like, man, this guy's awesome. He's got just wrinkly skin, a big American flag. Every time I, th I look at him, I think about, you know, him being one of the last I ever bought. But now, anytime I look at this one, I think about Toy Galaxy and them saying, that's a goo tube. How do you even hold that? Is that how you hold it? What? Your hand? How do you hold this thing, man? Anyway, Deathlock, he's got some silver 
mechanical arms, his legs. Really nice paint all over. And they even included the, uh, the little barcode down there to identify which figure. I like that because it actually kind of fits for a character like Deathlock who's just half machine, half cyborg, and no actual man left within him. Maybe we are going to use this big gun right here. That looks nice. But this thing, I don't know. Here. In the hand. Whatever. So yeah, there's my review of Deathlock. <laughs> Next up, we've got the Walgreens exclusive Marvel Iron Spider. And this is his classic comic book look. You know, the three arms, the red, the gold. Just looks awesome. I love Dorbs. I don't I think I might be one of a few dozen people who actually likes Dorbs. But I think they're adorable. No pun intended. Let's get the trash out of here. Brighten this thing up. They did an excellent job uh, getting that red just right. His head looks like it's separating. That's all right. Back here, the arms sticking out look great. This thing's definitely going to work with me. And that's where my dwarves are displayed is at work. He's got a little bit of gunk on his eyes, but I think the best part is this spider right here. And it came out looking so well with that gold paint. Man, excellent. Finally, we've got Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This is the individually packed Star-Lord for this wave. And I've got several Star-Lords already. So I didn't want to give this its own singular review because I've reviewed another Star-Lord in the uh, uh, free comic book day Hall of Toy Halls. I don't know. I'll put it up in the corner if I remember. But... Um, I said a lot about that one. The only difference is it's got a better face print and it doesn't have this long jacket. But let's let's crack it open. Let's get let's get a better look at this one. And here is Star Lord out of the package, and he looks pretty good. If I didn't already have two other Star Lords, he'd look pretty good. I mean, he's a good looking figure. The face printing is the halfway point between the last one they've put out and the first one they put out, and I know that doesn't make a lot of sense. But the first one they put out absolutely was terrible. The last one they put out is dead on Chris Pratt. This one, it still looks like Chris Pratt, but it's just not as good as that face printing technology that we're to at this point. Which for $20, face printing technology is, a, is awesome. The only thing I don't like that I really dislike about this figure is, listen, something's in there. This... I actually really like the jacket that's on this one. I don't know if I'm going to try to trade it out with the other. I think I might just kit bash all of the Star Lords until I get the perfect one. And I think a large part of that is this jacket because this jacket is pretty sweet. I like the, it fades down into the black. It's got some nice shoulders to it. I don't know. It, it could work. I like the scarf. The scarf looks like it could come off. It does. Look at that. But I'd want him to have it, you know, don't want to make him chilly. He does have finger triggers. He does have trigger fingers. Uh, double jointed elbows. Uh, yeah. He's not a bad figure. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's just, uh, I really wanted that Mantis build a figure piece. Because, thanks to Five Below, boop, I have the Mantis. But, we'll figure... We'll figure her out uh, another time, but for right now, I didn't want to dedicate a whole review to Star-Lord. I mean, I've reviewed him before. So all in all, a very successful haul of toy hauls. If you don't mind me saying, I mean, we got Spider-Man Dorbs, we got Deathlock, we got Black Widow Phoenix, but I mean, come on, the, the Phoenix head is terrible. Let's just move on to this very nice kit bash that I've done here. And then we've got Star-Lord, and Star-Lord looks great. I didn't want to do a whole bunch of reviews for a bunch of different figures because I'm lazy. <laughs> you know, come on. I'm not going to talk to death about Star-Lord again unless there's big ma major changes. And Deathlock's cool, but... I, I mean, what can you say about Deathlock? He's just a big, ugly dude with some great paint apps, but... He's, he's good beat-em-up fodder for the heroes that we own. And then 
this isn't a real figure, so it's not going to get its own review. And then, dorbs are hard to review because, well, they're dorbs. What's, their, what's the articulation? Oh, left and right head. Okay. But, with that, uh, thank you very much for watching. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter, at The Toy Temple. And remember, you are never too old to enjoy the things you love. Uh, yeah, there she goes.